On the surface, this place seems to have everything that we love. Delicious food, really great views, maybe some great bars. So we are super excited to see what Knoxville has to offer. We're gonna eat, we're gonna explore, and we're gonna eat again. So let's go. Nice to meet you, hello. Never been here before, but I feel like I'm home. Yeah, 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 yeah. Put my feet on the road, meet me over the coast. We got places to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. First stop this morning was coffee, obviously. So we went to Jack's, which was actually a recommendation by one of our travel pals who is very familiar with Knoxville. And I must say it was a very good recommendation. Super cute inside, very good quality coffee, very friendly staff, which we love. And they also have like really cute goods like candles and enamel pins and plants and matcha. So you can also get a little shopping kick in there as well. Okay, we in the sun. Walter Beer Works was upcycled from a once abandoned gas station and it has quite the extensive brunch menu. I got the chicken and waffles, obviously. And I got the Southern Benedict. One of the things that surprised us the most was discovering the quarries in Knoxville and seeing just how gorgeous they are. The Augusta Quarry at Fort Dickerson is just across the river from downtown. quick jaunt over the bridge and you're already in view of one of the most unusual structures in the city. The Sun Sphere is at the center of the World's Fair Park, which sits on the former fairgrounds of the 1982 World's Fair hosted in Knoxville. At the heart of downtown Knoxville is Market Square, one of the city's most popular spots for food and shopping. Pause for a moment to admire the Women's Suffrage Memorial, a statue of three prominent female leaders in the suffrage movement. Tennessee was the final state in 1920 to ratify the 19th Amendment, which gave women the right to vote. We grabbed a quick lunch at Not Watson's, and here I got the fried pickles and the alligator po' boy. I got the Caesar salad with steak. I would have preferred a burger, but I was trying to be healthy this meal. For dessert, we stopped into Proper Popcorn, which is probably my favorite spot in Market Square. Proper Popcorn is a popcorn lover's paradise. They had so many delicious flavors, and I probably sampled every single one of them. I ended up buying the birthday cake popcorn, and Tony walked away with a bag of cheddar popcorn. On Saturdays, there's a farmer's market that happens in the square, and there are a couple of fun bars along the strip.
day one in the books, and we still have a lot more to see for tomorrow, starting off with Alibia for breakfast. If you're looking for the best breakfast in Knoxville, this is it. I got the carnitas tostada, which don't judge me because I don't really know how to properly eat this. All that I know is that it was really good and I do generally love tostadas. I got the problem biscuit, which was a cheddar biscuit with sausage patty, scrambled eggs, jalapeno jam, and cheese. And it was so good. And for all that we got, the price wasn't bad. We just finished with breakfast at Olibia. Olibi? Olibia? Not sure how to pronounce it. Either way, it's pronounced. The food was delicious. Honestly, this was probably my favorite breakfast that we have had out in our travels in the last two years, which is saying a lot because we have gone to a lot of breakfast places, but food was delicious. Ingredients were super fresh. Staff was so friendly. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. Of course, we had to hunt for murals and Strong Alley next to Market Square had a ton. We stopped briefly in Old City to walk around, and Old City is a former industrial and warehouse district dating back to the 1880s. This historic neighborhood has undergone massive renovations and restoration. For food, we went to Sweet Peas Barbecue and Dive. It definitely looks far from a dive bar, but we weren't disappointed in the barbecue here at all. In and out, I'm pushing it. Come on now, we're making it. Chick sauce. Here I ordered the sampler platter, which in hindsight was a bit too much for me, but it includes a pork or chicken sandwich, quarter rack of ribs, sliced brisket, and three sides. You know the barbecue is good when you get the meat sweats, and Sarah got to experience that for the very first time. I don't like meat sweats. Feels like just hot under my skin. The University of Tennessee is also in the heart of Knoxville and worth driving through. And they have a lot of statues, including 10 smoky statues of all the dogs that have ever served as mascots. Meats Quarry is another popular quarry in Knoxville. It's located in the IAMS Nature Center, and we tried to find the bridge that runs along the quarry before we left the city, but we were running out of time. Bet it comes a lot more alive when school is in session because UT is here. It was a little sleepy, but we don't mind that. Weird, weirdly large population of redheads here. There's a yeah. lot of redheads, like more than I have ever seen in one place, but we had a good time. <laughs> 